So my name is Peace Akitade Oluwa Beye. Full name Oluwa Sheon Peace Akitade Oluwa Beye. Um, what I do, I am an interdisciplinary poet. Um, I've been a full-time artist now for about four years. Um, as an interdisciplinary poet, uh, it means that I try to put poetry into different medias. So it will be one year to be poetry and music, poetry and dance, poetry in, in theater. Um, so any kind of media that I can sneak my hands in, um, I'll try to do it. I am from Africa, um, specifically I'm from Nigeria, I'm part of the Yoruba tribe. Uh, so that means that I pretty much grew up in Lagos and Oja State um, and I speak Yoruba and I am in pretty much in the tribe of you know dancing and storytelling and drums. Uh, that's what we're known for in Yoruba land. The Yoruba culture is a beautiful culture. Um, there's about 2,000 tribes in Nigeria, but they are put into three sectors, so three trees. Uh, think of it like that. There's Yoruba, Igbo, and Nausa. So those are the three main trees. And then from there, there's branches of tribes and dialects. So I am from one of the main ones, which is Yoruba. Yoruba people are also known specifically for their storytelling, for their drums and for their hymns. Um, storytelling is how we as a culture come together. Uh, whenever I was younger and uh, we had to come together as a tribe or as a village, the storyteller would come and he would start ringing a bell. And from there, the children would come out first and make a circle around the storyteller. Then the parents would come and make a circle around the children. And then the elders would come and make a circle around everyone. And the storyteller would be right in the middle and he would begin it by saying, story, story, story. And everybody will say, time, time, time. And that's how we would start the stories. And from there, the chiefs will now come after the story to now talk about delegations or um, issues that have happened. Uh, so we always started our things with stories. We ended everything with stories. So Yoruba people are known as uh, storytellers. And that's a little bit about my culture. <laughs> my culture is really impactful to the art form that I use. Um, I've always wanted to be a storyteller when I was younger. But because we were moving so many places um, and I was having to relearn my culture in different cities, in different like traditions, in different worlds, I couldn't really get that foundation to become a storyteller. So when I came to Canada and I started looking at other art medias, going to workshops with the Open Door Society in Saskatoon, um, poetry was one of the main ones. And the reason that poetry really stuck on me was the similarities with storytelling, you know, coming up on stage. And for that short time, everybody's attention is on you. And a lot of the work that I do with my poetry, a lot of the way that I write has to do with elements of storytelling, you know, even doing rhythms and the rhythms are always in drum beats. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't traditionally taught in the Western <laughs> poetry world, but um, from what I have learned from the storytellers in Nigeria or from just my mom making up stories whenever we have to go to bed. Those were the foundations for me with my art form and my poetry and how I try to connect with the audiences. It's true the learnings that I have um, gained or I can remember from Nigeria. There's a lot of trauma that goes into writing stories about, you know, the experiences of black people. And so for me, I try to take a different approach to that. I try to focus on the stories of black people that have to inflict joy and happiness. You know, those, those stories about sharing one pot, you know, on the floor and making a picnic out of it. Those are the stories that are not really told as much. You know, there's so much you can learn about, about the traditions that black people have, you know, about the barbecues, you know, why we call it a cookout and why we try to invite people into the cookout, you know, and those are the stories that I try to, um, I try to grab onto um, because of it's something that I wanted to hear as a kid. Um, another one is fables, of course. I love personifying 
items and putting human qualities into it. You know, talking about the drop of a reindeer or talking about the deer's eye and, you know, talking about elephants and turtles. Uh, those kind of stories, they impact a kind of child wild, child, childlike wonder. <laughs> they impact a lot of childlike wonder and also they kind of heal the inner child. I think art is the way that we express our inner self. I think that art is the only form, only the purest form where it is up to you, no one else, it is up to you. You can say like if someone wanted to become a teacher or an engineer or a doctor, it all depends on the work of someone else that you have to learn, you have to memorize, but art is truly about what is it inside of you that you want to give out to the world and i think that is so important because so many kids so many youth so many adults have so much they have to say to the world and do not even realize that there is something like that as simple as painting or drawing or speaking or poetry my message to the world is to slow it down a little bit um, i know it's incredibly cliche i it's I, if i heard that like maybe six years ago i would roll my eyes but it has been one of the biggest things for me is to slow down i've been in a constant grind for five years to make sure that i can make art a full-time job and because of that i haven't been able to like enjoy the aspect of being on stage, enjoy the aspect of connecting with people. But that's what you can do when you slow down. You can look at someone else and be like, you're a human being like me and we have something in common. And that I feel is something that the world needs to know that the person right next to you, not on the bus, don't, don't ask them on the bus. The bus is everybody's personal space. Don't, <laughs> don't connect with people on the bus, but you can connect with them when you're in an event that um, is partnered by a community that is saying, oh, we're all a community, but no one ever actually talks to each other in that event. How do you create that community? By talking. Um, and it could be something as simple as, hi, my name is Peace. I do poetry. Can I talk to you about that, please? <laughs> and that's how we create friendship and make the world a better place.